Hello, cheapskaters. I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting us, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. We eat well. We eat healthfully with plenty of fresh vegetables every day, most of them straight from our garden. We eat fresh meat and fresh poultry occasionally fish now i'm allergic to shellfish and wayne's not really a seafood fan so fish doesn't feature heavily in my meal plan but i save on the meat and poultry component of our meals by treating that meat or poultry or as you know a side dish and i treat the vegetables as the main ingredient now, I'm not doing this to be mean. I'm not doing it to starve my family or to save money. I'm actually doing this because that's how we should eat for a healthy diet. Now, a lovely dietitian at Maroondah Hospital here in Melbourne explained it this way. Imagine your dinner plate with a line drawn down the centre. One half should be filled with lots of lovely fresh vegetables. Then imagine the other sides divided into two equal sections. One portion is your meat or your poultry or your fish and the other is your carbohydrate, which is your potatoes or your rice or your pasta and your dairy. Don't forget that. The cheese, the cream, the sour cream, the butter, the milk, the yogurt. Now you'll see by that diagram that the meat is indeed a side dish and not the main event. Ever since, meat has been a side dish or, or an accompaniment, for want of a better word, to our meals. Last time I did a meat shop, I went to my local Australian butcher. Prices were up a bit, but I just happened to time it right. I spent $162.13. And from that, we got 12 mince meals, four casserole meals, two meals of chicken legs, 15 meals of chicken fillets, three whole chickens, one meal of lamb burgers. Now, I've never had them before, so I was you know, interested to try them, and they were marked down to $1.50 for a packet of 10. I was able to get two meals of sausages. Again, they were marked down to $1.50 a packet, and two pieces of roasting beef, which was marked down to $6.99 each bargain plus one roast then I was able to get two packets of single chicken chicken fillets that were marked down two packets of chicken tenders that were marked down and two packets of 300 grams of mince that I will use for our upcoming camping trip so that's a total of 48 meals at three dollars and 86 cents per meal for the meat or chicken component that's pretty good my budget is still five dollars a meal for the meat now actually it's going to be a bit less because some of those quantities will do more than one meal for example the roast beef and Meats that serve more than one meal are the real secret to keeping our grocery bill down. When I do roast beef or roast lamb, we all have the meat with baked veggies. I do steamed greens, I make gravy. If it's lamb, we have mint sauce. Now I use the electric knife to slice the meat and I slice it into nice, neat slices. And we all have two slices. Now Hannah and I like the smaller slices at the end and the boys, of course, and Wayne, like the larger slices from the middle. That works. The remaining meat is sliced and then it's frozen to use in other meals. Now, it may be another roast dinner, in which case the meat um, goes into a container and I put gravy over the top, put the lid on and put it in the freezer. Then it's ready to just thaw and heat. Or it might be mince to make rissoles or a cottage pie. I might shred it to use in um, sloppy joes or a pasta sauce. It could be shredded to go into burritos. Sometimes I dice it to use in a quick stew or a stroganoff. It goes really well in stroganoff or a beef and barley soup. 
when I roast the chicken, I do the same thing. But it actually stretches even further. Can you believe it? Now, we have a roast chicken with baked veggies and steamed greens and gravies on a Sunday night because we always have a roast on a Sunday. That's our roast night. Once I've served the chicken to our plates, the remaining meat is frozen to use in chicken pie or sweet and sour chicken, curry chicken in a chicken casserole or in a stir fry. I might even make it into little nuggets. Once the meat's off the carcass, it goes into the slow cooker to make stock. And that stock can be used to cook rice or pasta or make beautiful chicken gravy or it can make soup and feed us even more meals. You know, whole chicken is very economical meal when you practice portion control and use the whole chicken. By treating the leftover meat or chicken from a roast as another meal, I can bring down the average cost per meal for meat or chicken. That helps our grocery budget. And when people ask me how we can afford to have a roast every second or every single Sunday, <laughs> this is how we can afford to have a roast every single Sunday. Now, this shop, I bought enough meat and chicken to make 48 meals. But by using the leftovers for other meals, I actually get six extra meals. So that gives me 54 meals and that brings the average cost per meal for the meat or chicken down to $3. That's not $3 per person. That's $3 for the entire meal. I can get that cost down even lower by not wasting the extra serves in each recipe. We're now a family of four. So my recipes are either six serves or eight serves because we were a family of five. And that leaves me either two or four serves spare from each meal. So when I'm dishing up, those spare serves are put straight into freezer containers and frozen. They become my freezer stash of free meals because the cost has been covered by the original meal. And they are another way to save money. When the I can't be bothered strike or I'm particularly busy or everyone is in and out at odd times or it's Friday night and I don't want to cook, just any reason really, we don't need to ring for a pizza. We can open the freezer and everyone can choose whatever they'd like from the freeze meals. And straight away, at least $25 has been saved because we're not getting pizza delivered. We're not buying chips or fish. We're not getting Chinese takeaway. Remembering this, counting the number of meals or portions you need each time you shop, and then making sure you stick to those numbers will not only help you get your grocery rule down, but it will keep you healthier too. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, click that subscribe button below me, then click the bell and select how often you want to be notified of new videos on our channel. And please feel free to leave a comment. I read them all and I do my best to answer each one, especially if there is a question. If you liked our video, a thumbs up would be appreciated too. These things help YouTube, but more importantly, they help our channel to be more easily recognised with all the millions of YouTube channels out there. And the more easy it is to find us, the easier it is to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt free, cashed up and laughing, but it can still be done in you know, even in today's crazy mixed up world. Happy cheapskating everyone. Have a great day.